Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct on Twitter, Periscope, Google+, and YouTube for this evening. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with the evening edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Welcome to everybody who's stopping by to take a look and see what's going on across much of the Mid-South area for tonight. We're seeing again some very quiet conditions, at least for right now, but as we get into the next several days, we may see the possibility of some more thunderstorms. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Current conditions right here, time, date, blah, 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 up on top over there. And, of course, our website available here, wrg.com slash weather. Forecast for tonight in the middle bar, lower bar showing again the possibility of temperatures back in the lower 80s for our forecast into tomorrow. So if you need the forecast data right here in convenient down at the bottom of your screen format, not seeing anything in the way of earthquakes in the last 24 hours, so definitely some good news on that from the New Madrid fault line. Things decently quiet here, probably not too quiet out into around Oklahoma where a lot of those supposed fracking earthquakes again are causing some problems out that direction so good news on that for here at least for the mid-south area temperatures over the next few hours continue to kind of slide by just a little bit not doing too bad into the mid-south for overnight but we will see some cooler temperatures so if you're heading out for a late movie dinner and a show or whatever and you won't be back until after midnight take the jacket with you because not only are we going to be seeing again the potential for some slightly cooler conditions as we go into the overnight hours we're also going to be seeing again the possibility of some fairly breezy winds out there with winds in the red bar on your screen at about maybe southeast at about 5 to 10 miles an hour even gusting a little higher than that to around 10 to 15 miles per hour as we get into the overnight hours so breezy off and on not enough for a wind advisory so good news on that and we will see again the potential for some more breeze into tomorrow now overnight tonight again not doing too bad excuse me while my computer goes a little bonkers here right now we're looking at fairly quiet conditions out there let's get everybody in the picture and show you a little bit more about what's happening if you're just joining us feel free to share our broadcast on Twitter and Periscope let everybody know what's going on in the Mid-South where it comes to weather and if you got any uh, comments or suggestions about what's going on uh, weather ideas into the area tell us what your weather's doing drop it into our comment section tweet along and we'll feature them on our News Channel 3 uh, broadcast as much as we possibly can rest of the evening again into early tomorrow morning could be some lower 50s just to the eastern parts of the viewing area and that also could include maybe a few mid to upper 40s out there so bundle up tomorrow morning and those winds are going to be taking those temperatures quite possibly we may see some more wind chills into very early tomorrow morning now through tomorrow mid morning into tomorrow afternoon few clouds back off to our west notice the gray on the left hand side of the screen starting to sneak in by just a little bit we're not seeing too much out there but we may see again some areas of clouds off to around little rock conway Harrison just to the west of the News Channel 3 viewing area and that should be about it but by tomorrow mid-afternoon temperatures across much of the Mid-South will be back in the mid to upper 70s maybe even pushing 80 degrees in parts of the area and that's just a little bit above normal for this time of the year so not doing too bad out there for where it comes to uh, early to mid April but also not exactly as cool as it could be for this time of the year heading into tomorrow night temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s to the close to 70 degrees by about News Channel 3 at 10 and looking at a very pleasant day coming up overall. Breezy tomorrow, again, winds. If you notice the bottom portion of your screen right here, again, showing winds out of the south at about maybe 10 to 20 miles per hour into tomorrow. So again, this is something that we could see some problems with driving. Firm hand on the steering wheel because those winds pushing against your vehicle out of the south could cause some wibbly wobbliness as you go down the roadways in the mid-south, especially east-west roadways as those winds come up from the south. Heading into Monday, Mostly clear to start off and then partly cloudy by lunchtime, mostly cloudy by afternoon and evening, and also seeing some more chances of showers and thunderstorms for the area on Tuesday. Now, does this mean severe weather? Right now, a little too early to tell. So far, according to the Storm Prediction Center, we're not showing anything in the way of severe weather so far, but that could also change, so stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on that. Temperatures over the next several days, mid to upper 70s to around the lower 80s. Now, here's one thing to notice on here. As as we go into the next several days, we're looking at that possibility of just stray showers and thunderstorms through about the 
middle to end part of the week. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, there could be an isolated shower or thunderstorm out there. Not a huge widespread threat, as you see again from the blue boxes at the bottom of the screen. That's where we see again just a limited chance of anything involving showers and thunderstorms. But at this time of the year, you need to be ready to pay attention to stuff like that. In case, in case anything does turn severe, we'll let you know. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. More of my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Updated on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And of course, contact me on all those social media networks that you see flying by there. i got to get that pause function set. Sorry about that. But you can see all the functions available here. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, WordPress, Tumblr, Periscope, SoundCloud. And as soon as I figure out how to get it on the Game Boy Network, I will let you know about that. Also, don't forget about Instagram as well. Follow my uh, weekend evening co-anchor, Kristen Holloway. She just joined uh, Instagram. You can follow her on there. Go to my Twitter page and find out more about that. Thanks to everybody for retweeting uh, the broadcast, the netcast for tonight. We'll do another one of these coming up tomorrow morning between News Channel 3 Daybreak and the end of the show between 6 to 8 a.m. And, of course, don't forget about a complete update coming up here in just less than half an hour on News Channel 3 at 10. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, anything like that going on, definitely want to drop me a note. Austin.onic, first name, dot last name, at WREG.com, and you can contact me. If you want to see something on here, climate data, if you want to see more information about weather around the world, if you want to see more details about what's going on in the Mid-South, let me know. This is your weather blog. We are your weather station. We want to keep you updated as to what's going on in your forecast here and around the Mid-South. And if we can do anything to help on that, you got to let us know. But a little below par when it comes to psychic activity. So definitely want to make certain you let us know on stuff like that. We'll have more details on your complete forecast coming up tonight. <clears throat> excuse me. On News Channel 3 at 10. And of course online and of course as well tomorrow morning News Channel 3 Daybreak. So join me for more there. Live and direct from downtown town Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's quick weather update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online.